Welcome back. During festivities, Hindus often prepare prasadam, which is a love offering to the Lord. One of the favorite offerings during Ganesh Chaturthi is the famous laddu. Anuradha shares her laddu recipe on conscious cooking, but first we enjoy the collaboration of Eastern, Western and African music with Dr. Kanada Narahari and Guy Bhattri in Durban. <laughs> I grew up listening to Indian classical music, um, kind of very kind of casually, but, but certainly had an interest in it. So, and I did play a bit of sitar and do play a bit of sitar. And initially, actually, our first few meetings together, me and Kanada, I was his student. The, the combination of the two instruments is, is it, it seems to really sort of gel. Um, we've tried a few different things, but the guitar and the sitar seem to kind of really sit together. And just being such sort of diverse and different instruments really from sort of two different parts of the world, it's surprising the sort of synergy that they have together. Every instrument with the, with the uh, disadvantages and the advantage, but every instrument ha wants to say a lot. So when you see uh, a fingerstyle guitarist like Guy Buttery with his special guitar and the sitar, when they fuse together and perform one raga or one song, you may feel a complete different aura, complete different emotions or more emotions together. Music is integral to Hinduism, connecting aspirants to the divine and feeding their spiritual growth through it. Classical Indian music contains traditional Vedic texts from which songs and verses were compiled centuries ago in written and oral form and which are still used today. I learned a lot with him, uh, 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 basically uh, understanding the world music in, in, in a South African perspective. We often collaborate with other artists. I mean, we did a concert recently in Nelspreet and we had two other amazing percussionists join us. Um, but at the moment our main focus is to work on the duo and to record it. world music when you meet people from two different parts of the world and it's basically like we meet on a road and we share a cup of tea and the taste that I take from the cup of tea and share that the taste that he takes is completely different for him and me but the tea is tea basically the music is music so we need to find the best thing out of that and also I feel it's uh, I think this collaboration would like to in my perspective when we play the music and, and, and we play together it has a lot to say about the relationship between India and South Africa. Music does have this beautiful ability to sort of trans, transcend borders and cultures and religion and, and, and any kind of pretext that it comes with and um, it feels like when we create, it feels like very much exploring that and trying to, trying to, to sort of acknowledge the, the different schools, but at the same time trying to merge and create something entirely new. Mm -hmm. 